ProcessBook supports tooltip statistics when you hover over a trend or a value or a something like a multi-state. So for example, I'm just hovering over this multi-state. What we're seeing is all these statistics, uh, such as the, well, the current value, the average, the minimum, the maximum, etc. And if I hover over other objects, like this object right here, we'll see the same information for that. And with trends, it's a little trickier. You have to hover over somewhere on the trace. There we go. Now the question always comes up, average of what? What is this average? What's the interval of time being used here? Well, the interval of time is whatever the, uh, the start and end time are of the lowest trend on that display. By lowest trend, I mean the trend that's at the bottom of the redrawing order. So, for example, uh, if I had multiple trends, just give you an example here. If I had multiple trends, well, there is a specific redrawing order. It's whichever trend is on the bottom of that redrawing order. It's that timestamp that's going to be used. So let me go ahead and undo all that. Bring this back. And as you can see, this is an eight hour trend right here. If I double click, whoops, you can see the configuration, eight hours. If I zoom in, you'll see that that's currently eight hours. But watch what happens if I change this, for example, let me change this entire display to go with a one day trend, a one day interval, asterisk minus one D. Now this is now one day, and when we look at the average here, as you can see, the average is slightly different. Now the average previously was a little bit higher. This one day average of this sine wave ends up being 50. And no matter what I look at, here we go, we're seeing that average come up as 50. Again, let me compare before and after. Yeah, again, note the minimum and maximum. Minimum 0, maximum 99. And watch what happens when I revert this back to its saved version, 8 hours. If we look at these statistics, and look at the average, the minimum, and the maximum. Average, min, and max are slightly different. Minimum 1, maximum 98. Yeah, compare that to when we do a one day. So the interval that we're using for those tooltip statistics, that interval comes from the uh, it comes from whatever is the lowest on the redrawing order. You can see the time interval listed there as one day. And if I were again, if I were to zoom in and let me go ahead and look at the tooltip. Yeah, notice the time interval is now 6.83 hours. 6.83 hours, that is the interval that I just zoomed in. So it's whatever you've used you know, most recently for that lowest. Now it's two hours, and if I hold this over here, we're seeing two hours for the statistics.